Today is the first night of Hanukkah. This is the season of light. This is the miracle of oil lasting longer and illuminating the nights when it should have run out. I have it. Uh, I have an experience with this um, kind of miracle of something opening up and being more than. And I'll I'll share it with you quickly because I wasn't so sure about miracles, and then I experienced this, and I went, you know what? That's I get it. I understand this miracle of Hanukkah because I had a miracle of time. And this is when we were in Guatemala with my group and it was Mother's Day and everyone was invited to bring a picture of their mother to put on the altar. And as we all know, mother and daughter relationships can be complicated and people beautifully started sharing. And as they started sharing their stories of their mother and why they wanted to bring that particular picture, I realized, oh my gosh, there is not time for everyone to go before they ring the dinner bell and we need to get going. And I wasn't going to stop anybody. I wasn't going to slow it down. And I remember just kind of leaning back and going, you know what, God, you're going to have to open up time because there isn't enough. And sure enough, um, everyone made it through their story. It probably took 45 minutes, but we had only had 20. I don't know how it worked, but it did. There was plenty of time for everyone to share their story. And right when it was time for me to place mine, the bell rang and I don't need to share mine. So, I mean, it was perfect. And so I understand very much this miracle of there being bounty, there being enough, there being with a sense of trust and faith that It's going to be supported. So I did a little bit of, you know, research, such as it is, looking into what is said on the first night of Hanukkah. And it is a, it is a thankfulness and a praise and a a gratitude for uh, God giving us life, sustaining us, enabling and enabling us to reach this season, giving us life, sustaining us. And, able, and enabling us to reach this season. There might be a lot of different uh, you know, translations or ways that it's put. This is the one that, that I felt was kind of easily drawn out. So as I read that, what I see is the Gayatri Mantra too. So the Gayatri Mantra is considered like a Maha Mantra. This is a big mantra um, in yoga. And listen to what it, its translation is. It is a focus on the Supreme Creator whose effulgence, divine light, illumines all realms, physical, mental, and spiritual. May this divine light illumine our intellect. All right, so across cultures, across practices, we see a few things, many, many things. Sustaining, lighting, uh, enough, this illumination. And so with our candles, I thought we would have an illumination practice that we open to miracles that are going on all around us and the, you know, abundance that is life, the light that is throughout and whatever is speaking to you about those elements today on this first day of Hanukkah, what might be miraculous in your life? Where might there be light that you can look towards and draw in? So go ahead and light your candle. And place it just nearby, somewhere you can, um, you'll be able to gaze upon it later. Even right in front of you for now, so that we can um, use it a little bit to get centered. Okay. Light is uh, one of my favorite elements to use in meditation because it can, it chases away darkness. It shows us what needs to be seen within, um, and it is a—it's just a beautiful way to create change uh, quietly. You know, it doesn't come in burning, blazing, firing things away. It just quietly illuminates. So, I invite you to sit comfortably and soften your eyes to a quiet gaze at the flame. As your eyes rest upon the flame, let your breath naturally deepen.
Breathe into a sense of your life. Your life force, your prana. Open to the sustaining quality of this life. The sustaining quality of connection to divine. And the gratitude for this day, for reaching this season. And then keeping this image of the flame, go ahead and close your eyes, rest your hands on heart center. Let's chant the sound of Om three times to open our practice. And to embody this life-giving, sustaining and gratitude energy. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way. Breathe into Om. Every miracle of your life, known and unknown, release your head to your heart. Lower your hands and make your way into child's pose, please. 